Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Star of Battlefront video with me, Extra Specialist. Today, I'm very happy to be sharing with you guys um, a lot of clarity on a lot of stuff that's kept um, Star Wars in the dark for the last few months. But I'm happy to announce that the Force awakens today. See what I did there? <laughs> Joking. The Force has awakened today for the Battlefront community as we have some more clarity and details as to what's going on with the content ahead. So, like Battlefield has done in the last life cycle of its game, and what Hardline's been doing all of its life cycle with its friends, um, people who bought premium won't always be the people that are getting content. And fans will get free content that includes the new maps for both multiplayer and missions modes. Um, this will also include, um, more things with matches, hero outfits. But, um, we're going to get into the season pass a little bit later. I just want to get into what's coming tomorrow because there's a free content update coming tomorrow uh, for the game of Star Wars with Alfred players including. So this will include the Tatooine survival map will now support game modes Blast Run, Droid Run, Drop Zone, Hero Hunt, Heroes vs. Villains, Multiplayer Modes, and it's called Raider Camp. So um, Tatooine survival map called Raider Camp will support... Uh, Blast, Red Run, Drop Zone, Hero Hunt, and Heroes vs. Villains. We're also be getting new uh, Hoth-themed outfits for Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, which you can uh, see on screen now. Both of the uh, iconic um, characters will be uh, rocking these out. And there are, these were unlocked by our players for completing the Heroes Holiday Community Mission, which was last month. Um, we're giving the ability to players to create private matches, um, which, you know, a lot of the Battlefront players have been wanting for a long time. We will also be including the introduction of daily challenges and community events. These are designed around the community around certain goals and objectives, giving the players a chance to earn credits and unlocks even faster. And, of course, we'll also be including some overall balancing tweaks to both weapons and multiplayer modes. DL44, you're going down. So, I want to go ahead and just talk a bit about the um, updates. So... They said in February they will add more content to players with a new survival mission on Hoth, a new Hoth multiplayer map that will support Walker, Salt, Supremacy, Fire Squadron, and Turning Point. And Turning Point in February will also be available on all maps that currently already support Walker, Salt, and Supremacy, so good for that. Um, in March they will be adding a new multiplayer map on Endor that will support Walker, Salt, Supremacy, Turning Point, and an additional Tatooine survival map, so that's awesome. And, um... So, the Season Pass. We have, like, a typical Battlefield game, we get, you know, titles for Season Pass. So, March 2016th, we will be getting a Star Wars Battle for its Outer Rim. Fight among the factories of Sullust and battle within Jabba the Hutt's Palace in Tatooine. So, that sounds awesome. Uh, summer 2016, Star Wars Battle for Bespin. It's hunt or be hunted in this action-packed experience set in the cloud city of Bespin. That's going to be fantastic. Can I wait for that? This is the one I'm more excited for. Star Wars Battle for Death Star, coming. Fall 2016. That's No Moon, one of the most iconic locations in the Star Wars universe, makes its debut in Star Wars Battlefront. And Star Wars Battlefront Expansion 4, which is early 17, is to be announced, so we don't know what that's going to be. But I'm happy that DICE has done, you know, they pulled the Visceral, they pulled the Battlefield um, 4 community group by deciding that, you know, hey, let's go put free content in the game that won't always be premium, but... All the premium apps were only available for people at premium. The DLC, it's, it's, I mean, the DLC will be available, but if you have premium, you're going to get it them two weeks early, obviously. But all the free update shit will be coming out for, you know, people, too. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I want to make sure that I covered this because it's huge. We haven't heard anything about Belfort in a while, and I want to make sure that I, you know, I, I want to point out to myself that I'm still very much into this game, as well as I'm sure the community is. So, uh, may the force be with you all, and I'll see you tomorrow on the battlefield. Have a good one.